Hey guys, it's Craig at Area 419. We already answered our number one question that we get in customer service of what's the right break for my rifle. So now we're going to talk about the number two question, what's the right ARCA rail for my stock? There's a key tool that you're going to need to answer this question. It's the elusive tape measure. You're going to need a tape measure and your stock to get the basic information you'll need, and then we can pick out the right rail for you. I've got a KRG Bravo, we're asked about this one all the time, a Manners EH1, we get asked about hunting rifles, a uh, XLR Element 3.0, as well as a Manners T2A Gap. The number one thing that you need to know is how long is your forend that you'll be mounting to. The, way, the point you'll want to measure is going to be from the front of the magwell or any kind of, if you've got like a Magpul 100, 700, there's, a, there's an indent there. The big flat surface on the front, how long is it? So on a KRG Bravo, it comes to nine and three quarter inch. On a EH1, it's about 13 inches. Element 3.0 is just a hair under 12 inches. And a T2A gap is roughly 13 inches, just like the EH1. Now that you know this, you're gonna think, oh, well some of these, this, this element's about 12 inches. Can I use a 12 inch M-lock rail because there's M-lock? Unless there are seven consecutive slots, you cannot use our 12 inch M-lock rail. Our universal rails can be mounted to M-lock surfaces with the use of M-lock nuts and screws. We'll link to those. Uh, but if it doesn't have seven continuous slots, you are not going to be able to use our M-lock rail because of the way it's built with integral bosses. So now that we know how long these are, and let's, let's keep focusing on the KRG Bravo, we get asked all the time. It's about nine and three quarters inches. You get to select from our line of Arca Lock rails. We've got an eight inch rail, a 10 inch rail, a 12 inch rail, and 14 inch rail in our standard universal rails. We also now have our weighted rail, which is 14 and a quarter inches, and it'll mount on most things, but you're a little bit more limited in your uh, in your mounting because of the fact that we had to do shorter slots here versus long, so that we still have spaces in the back to, to put weights. For the Bravo, here's my recommendation. You can use either a 10-inch rail, and if you notice on the Bravo, you're going to be mounting just forward of where this all lines up, so that your, your holes line up, and you can use an M-lock slot all the way in the back. Here. So it's, it's not all the way against the magwell, probably a quarter inch in front. The 10 inch, in my opinion, is the best fit for this stock. Another option, if you want something that's a little more, a little more slim line, is the 8 inch. It fits very well. It doesn't come all the way to the back, but you're still going to have a lot of function. Some guys say, well, I want some spigot, some hangover. The 12 inch can be attached, but you're going to have a couple inches of overhang here. A little bit of overhang is okay. A lot of overhang can turn into uh, spring if you're prone and you've got your bipod all the way out. Again, these are aluminum. They're skeletonized. Um, they're not terribly thick, so it is possible that underweight you can get some bow. They're very strong, but it's just the, the nature of having force hanging out on its own. So again, KRG Bravo with a 4 inch. That is 9 and 3 quarters inch. My suggestion is the 10 inch arc lock rail. Uh, there are some wrong answers to be had here about what's the right what's the right rail for my stock. You know, we're not gonna put a 14 inch on a KRG Bravo and have four inches of overhang. That's absurd, it's not the best choice to make. But there are a few right answers as, as, as we've gone through. On a hunting stock, well you may be able to put the 14 inch universal arc lock rail on that EH1, you might not like such a large rail. You might think that the 8 inch makes more sense for you or the 12 that tucks nice and neatly under the forend. Uh, you might also like, we have a new product, I don't have one on me yet, but the uh, the 4 inch bipod front rail that you could put out front use a bipod or you could just attach that Arca lock rail in front of your magwell for tripod use. Um, guys, there are a lot of answers to what you can do as far as Arca lock rails go on your stocks, but the very important piece of information is how long is the stock from the front of the magwell or from where that flat surface starts out to the tip. If you know that individual piece of information, you can make the correct universal Arca lock rail fit on your stock. Again, if you have questions, obviously let us know. I hope this video has given you a little insight into how do we help you make this decision. Oftentimes what we're gonna end up doing if we don't know the answer for the individual stock 
is we're gonna ask you to grab a tape measure, put it on the front of your stock, either tell us what it says or send us a picture. And from there, we're gonna walk through this same kind of decision-making process and, and making a recommendation to you. If you've got any questions, let us know. We appreciate you stopping by.